How's it? I'm Chico. How's it? Jared. That's Jared, how are you? Yeah, well, yourself. Yeah, good, good, good. Cool. So, on Fun Road, I've been seeing guys with um, red jumpers on. Like, what is that? What is what is that all about? Well, the chaps in red are our sidewalk monitors. It was an a, it was an attempt on our part to to try and formalise the Megan car guarding element that we're operating on Florida Road. And we had quite a quite a bad problem with with Vagan car guards on, on Florida Road that were directly linked to crime, yeah. uh, intimidation, especially of, of female shoppers, drug dealing, theft out of motor vehicles, and it was it was a terrible problem. And we yeah. knew that if we if we couldn't resolve it, then we wouldn't be able to to attempt to expand. Really yeah. right. With the support of the city, and uh, the city really played a massive part in in, uh, in supporting us out of monitor. Then yeah. we've now been able to to secure their presence on the road, and it's it's worked wonders. So, so what is the UIP all about? Like, what well, is the UIP it? stands a for for Urban Improvement Precinct, okay. and we we uh, manage public open space. In the two years, or nearly three years now, that we that we operate on, on Florida Road, we we were able to to identify the car guards that were here to to make a living for themselves and they yes. can support their family, um, and 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 differentiate differentiate them from uh, from the guys that were up to up to no good. Up and what no we've good, done yeah. is we we uh, we brought on board those fourteen those 14 monitors into those 14 guys into the cyber monitor program yeah what we've now done, done is with the support of the wellness trust we have uh, put the guys through a, a, a skills development mentorship program amazing whereby yeah. they, um, they they get taught uh, you know, basic life skills financial management how to deal with, with past conflict as an example yeah with the end result being that once uh, now that they've completed that with the support of the recruitment company uh, we will be at, at trying to get these guys permanent employment. Yeah, you know, all these uh, horror stories and, and <laughs> Durban being nicknamed Dirtbin, which is unfortunate, but yeah. I think uh, I think Durban has got so much potential. Um, yeah. And it's, it's only a matter of time before, before it comes right. So. Yeah. Well, what is it about Durban that you just find so unique? Well, I think first of all, it's hope. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's most important. I think Durban, um, after that, you, you have to, you'd have to say the weather. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, and I think all of that and, and the, the, the locality and the availability of, of what we, what we, what Durban has on offer. Yeah. So close to our doorstep is, is really the, the selling point. Yeah.